Hello graphic friends, Rajdin is my name. Welcome back to the worst let's play of the world, Graphic 1 Unreal Engine. In today's episode, we are about to finish the last uh, Guru's quest that we forgot, the Ball quest. We gave the, the Swamp Wit to the Core Column that we collected in the Swamp. And now, if we go back to the Guru, Guru Bal Orun, or whatever his name is, I believe it's Bal Orun, and we tell him that we we distributed the Swamp Wit, or the, we delivered them to the Core Column, then he's going to reward us with a, a sleep spell. That's what it was in the original game, so I hope that is implemented here also still. We are about to check it. And if it's working, then we managed to finish all the, the balls uh, quests. The balls, not the balls, they are not balls. They are balls. And then, as you can see, we could already have joined the, the sect camp. The sect loonies? But our aim is to become a mage very early in the game. So, Bal Orun. I took the swamp weed to Kor Kalam. You have done well. I have a small reward for your efforts. Here, take it. It's a magic sleep spell. You can only use it once. But I hope it will be of good service to you. So, and that's how we manage to impress the guy we cannot equip it now we can oh this is also free aim now the sleep okay and now we can talk with the other ball and that's the way to finish all the balls quests even though you don't have to you can join even if you impress only four of them Because the one with the cigarette from the new camp can be a bit hidden. So, it is really going to be aimed. This guy that's put him to sleep. Oh, wow. Okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to meditate with my disciples. Who taught you to use the magical powers of the sleeper? Nobody. It was very easy. You seem to be an intelligent student. I will teach you. That fast and easy. I want to acquire magic writings. Okay, so what kind of rings? It? Protection against magic one? What's that? Against fire, piercing. Oh, there are crushing weapons and piercing weapons. Okay. Don't tell me. Ah, uh, yeah. He has the blood flies also, but in order to access him, you have to have the slip scrub anyway. Yeah, looks like nothing important. I would like to learn how to increase the power of my magic. The power of your spirit is the key. Oh, we have learning points, okay. But we said we want to end it. So, that's it with the Swamp Camp. We finish all their quests. All the quests that are there. We only have the quest with Dexter open. And then we are about to become a full member of the old camp. About to become a shadow. Domus's shadow. So let's go. It's going to be a little bit of a walk, but on the way there we have some enemies that we could enjoy killing and beating. But even though it doesn't really make sense to hunt for enemies now, once we have some potions of uh, speed, then we can we can kill more men, more enemies. We wasted 500 uh, Erz, uh, not Erz, Erz is in German, the 500 ore to get this loin. But that's okay, we can keep it to have something from the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. Otherwise we will just have more money, even though the monies are not a problem because we can hunt enemies now. Well, animals, not enemies. Yeah, here are some scavengers that require a, a tap. Okay, the range is weird. It looks like we hit from far away, even though the weapon looks short. Some blood play. Oh, okay, that we didn't visit. Yeah, the AoE is good for for animals, but bad for uh, one versus one in the camps and stuff because you can hit a neighbor. That's a bit annoying. It has to be changed somehow. I don't know if there is a fix for it. Only aggro the people, the enemies that are 
mad at you that are trying to hit you or they are in combat with you otherwise just ignore it because that way we can fight so let's see can we lure one of them wow the aggro range is so weird we haven't killed one of them right no we only kill the lurkers okay damage is good damage is quite good actually okay oh i forgot we can take everything from the oh the skins yeah i forgot the skins are going to are taken from the lizards not from the lizards the lurkers i believe only from them that's a bit weird or not the skins the shells we have to heal ourselves there are more lizards up front for us to kill they are also somehow in the way to the old camp so we can actually do something and not just simply run like mindless oh that looks like a way there is the way is just some no only up there to the cemetery graveyard we'll have to go there quite early actually okay three more lizards oh but the scavengers we want before the wolves kill them there is a molaret running like crazy i saw a shadow beast the shadow beast was killing something right Okay. Is the Shadow Beast attacking something? Uh, this looks a bit scary, this forest. Is he really chewing something or just... No, it's just stretching its arms or legs. Give me the experience and stay away from the Shadow Beast. Because as I said in this version, well in not in version in the graphic one, you don't deal any damage to, to monsters that are too powerful if their armor is too strong. And that is actually the case here. We left the lizards back there, but we will do them once we have to, to deal with them. We just want to kill those enemies that kill each other. We don't really want to lose too much experience. We will hunt when we become a mage or something like that. And we are close to the old camp. I wish there were some enemies here, not enemies, but some hunters or something here. And here normally is an NPC, right? Yeah, he is chilling. A guard is here. Hey, you! Who? Me? No. No, your grandmother. Who else could I mean? I wouldn't go down that way if I were you. Why not? You can't have been here long. Man, that's the way to the Orc land. They'll make mincemeat out of you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Pacho. Ah, uh, yeah, the problem with talking. They have to stand up. A bit annoying. Takes extra time, but it is what it is. So last time we didn't check what's here actually and some hunters would have been nice to see here or some cards that protect the the path to the orcs because as far as i know the orcs and the humans are enemies here so what's stopping the orcs from coming here but somehow in this Graphic one, they don't really have problems with the orcs. Their only problem is the other camps. And back we are. We go to Dexter. We give him the the list, the recipe, and then we go to our old friend Diego and tell him we are ready to become the shadow shadow of the old camp. Yeah, the jumping is so weird. What's up? What's up with this stretching? Dexter, my friend. 
I have the recipe you wanted. Very good. Show it to me. Good. Now I can produce the potions myself. You are a good man. I'll tell Diego about it. Here you go. Take that for your efforts. Thank you very much. Yeah, the experience reward is so nice. Oh, and I wanted to see the fisk. Hey, you. The armor. Would it have been better, this one, or the one that we have? Yeah, the one that we have has f protection against fire 10. And the one from the old camp has protection against fire 5. But that's not really important to us. So what about the task? Only search for a new home. We completed all, we didn't fail any. That's very good. So there are really not a lot of quests. Normally you don't have to do all of what we have done, you just have to stick to one camp and then you are done very fast. We even beat the arena guys. Oh wow. Look at the weapon. It's big. We have to talk with Diego about our estimate in the camp, not that we missed some of the important NPC, let's see. Hey you! Yes, you, you. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Scatty told me you defeated Kurgo. But he was greatly impressed that you defeated Karim. He wouldn't stop talking about you at all. Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared it off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. Sly told me that you found Neck. He seemed to be really content. Fingers told me that you've already learned a bit, but he thinks you can still improve your skills. You've really managed to get the recipe from Kalom. Dexter is very impressed, and so am I. Thoris says we could make use of someone like you. That's very good for you. You've found enough people to speak in your favor. You also passed the test of faith. Go to Thoris. I've already told him everything. He'll let you go to see Gomez. That's fast. What do I have to do when I meet Gomez? Gomez's decisions are made from gut instinct. He'll look at your mug, and then he'll make up his mind if you can join. From now on, you'll have to get by on your own. Make the best of it. Good luck. Thank you very much, Diego. Good old friend. Diego says I'm ready to see Gomez. That's my decision. And what do you decide? Hmm. I must admit, you seem to have done most things okay. Okay, you can see Gomez. He alone will decide whether you get to join us or not. From now on, you're on your own, kid. Thank you. Stop! Relax, I've talked to Thoris. I'm allowed in. Oh, I won't forget your face, pal. You get into trouble and it won't end quickly. Okay, thank you. And this is the part that we know about. This looks very nice here. So we can finally give the the leather to the mages. Yeah, the mages look weird. So Milton, my friend. You may not cross this doorstep unless Master Caristo allows it. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. That is Caristo. What do you want with him? To join you. I have a letter for the High Magician. Yeah, of the this Circle looks of Fire. a bit weird. Are you a messenger from the outside world? Yes. A magician gave me the letter shortly before they threw me into the colony. Show me the letter. Here it is. 200 experience. This letter is addressed to Zardis. What's so exciting about that? Zardis has not been a servant of Innes for ages. He left us some years ago and turned towards black magic. He lives in a tower in the middle of the orc land and concentrates on his studies. He said he would go his own way to find out what went wrong with the barrier. Wait here, I'll be back in a moment. Oh yeah, we have to wait here also. Just the camera is not moving like in the original game. Where it would follow Milton's steps. But he was fast. was beside himself with delight. He said that you may go to Torres and choose your reward. Where can I find Torres? 
He is in front of the temple building all day. At night, he is inside like all the others. But only magicians may enter the temple house, so you can only speak to him during the day. Tell me something about the magicians of fire. The circle of fire takes its powers from the grace of Innos. The god of light, truth, and justice watches over us. The magicians consider themselves to be the chosen ones, and that's how they treat others. I was lucky to be admitted. Caristo made me his apprentice. He probably just wanted some entertainment. Since then, I've been trying to improve my magic skills every day in order to be admitted to the next circle. I want to become a magician's apprentice too, just like you. Caristo chose me because I did something special for the Ore Barons. Unless you do something truly exceptional, he will never consider you for apprenticeship. Besides, you must belong to the old camp. I doubt if Caristo would take a member of any other camp for his apprentice. See you later. Okay, thank you. Future friend. So, who we have here? Rodriguez and Torres, right? Hey, you! I'm looking for the high magician of the Circle of Fire. Just go to Milton. He deals with gophers like you. Hey, you! I'm looking for the high magician. Just go. Okay, you aren't a real friend. Yeah, the postures looks a bit weird for the magicians. I'm looking for the high magician of the Circle of Fire. Speak to Milton. And now go. Greetings, magician. May Inos watch over you. I trade in magic knowledge, and I can show you how to increase your magic powers. How's venturing in the magic arts? That's none of your business. Okay. What do I have to do to become a magician? Talk to Master Caristo, if he has time for you. I want to acquire magic writings. So yeah, you see the the runes, you can simply buy them. You don't have to craft them like in the Gothic too. Caristo sent me. I've passed the letter on to him, and I'm to choose my own reward. You have done us a great service, and you shall have your reward. Choose carefully. The ring is not important. Fireball, chain, lightning, transference, the scavenger is bad. The ring of strength is bad. This is. I would like to have the potion. A wise choice. You have picked the most precious of all gifts. Drink the potion, and your power will grow. Well, yes, the, the stats the, are the most important. The permanent stats are the best to pick, no matter what, because the rest you can simply buy or find later on. This castle's pretty roomy. I don't think I've seen you here before. Who are you? I'm a newcomer. Just thought I'd take a look around. What can you tell me about the castle? Gomez and his gang took it over after the big uprising. I knew right away it was better to join up with him. Even when we were still cooped up in the dungeons and had to slave away in the mines, the rest of us prisoners always did what he said. Are there dungeons under the castle then? Yeah, but there ain't nothing in them now. Nobody ever went down there after the big uprising. What's life like as a guard? Quiet. We're the biggest, strongest camp in the whole of the colony. Nobody messes with us. I see. Yeah, you guys are full of yourselves also, right? So this is open here. From the Gothic 2, it's closed. Okay, stone. Oh, I don't want to see your little stone. Hey, you! You're the smith, aren't you? That's right. Do you sell weapons and armor? Skip deals with the weapons. I just hand out the armor. What kind of armor have you got on offer? Only armor for guards. And you're no guard. So you have to get your armor elsewhere. Okay. Here is a chest. I don't know if we can... Wow. Okay, Alexia's strength, permanent. The I don't know why they are not aren't flagged as belonging to them. Oh, oh we need lockpicks, okay. Do you sell lockpicks? 
What do you do here? I take care of the guards' weapons. Do you sell weapons? Only to Gomez and his men. Thor has sent me. He told me to get myself a weapon. Oh? He wants me to do something for him that none of you can do, you see? Yeah. And I suppose he has nothing better to do than send you to me, right? Why don't you go and ask him? You bet I will. But not right now. I bet he'll be interested to hear the stories you're telling about him. I don't know who let you in here, but you better take the shortest way out again. Okay, we can talk with him. I just thought I'd come beat it. Okay. We mess it up. There is a way to make him talk to us. Oh wow. Yeah, and that's how we get a very powerful weapon, sadly. See, this is very powerful. It's expensive and we can equip it already. But we cannot learn to yeah. That's so powerful. What do you do? I take do you only Okay then Gomez sent me. Gomez sent me. He told me you'd give me some equipment. The usual, huh? New armor and the best weapon I have in stock. Get out of here before I come after you. I just thought beat it. There is a way to make him talk to us. Like really? What do you, I do you own? Thor's oh. He wants me to. Yeah. He said, okay. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few oh, things. Oh, so we got him. We got him. Word sword. 33. Lockpicks. Yeah, we are going to buy them all. Because we don't really want to load, reload. See, we can already sell those for so much money. But I do not believe we are allowed to go inside here, right? Oh, it's locked. Key required. Those are normal guards, right? Yes. Yeah, and once we have this weapon, we are going to do so much damage if we fight with someone because it has so much power. Two guards. Oh, you must be a trainer, right? Scorpio. Who let yes. you in? Thoris. And what do you think you're doing? I have a message for the mages. You work for the mages? I don't want nothing to do with them. Can you teach me to fight? I only train guards, so until Thoris has made you one, you'll have to find someone else. Okay, noted. Or nugget. You guys are rich. You simply leave the or nuggets on the floor and other people are fighting for it. Are we going to take damage from this wall? No. We need keys for a lot of stuff here. Yeah, we are not going to risk it to go inside buildings yet. We can do that once we become a shadow, then we have more rights, or when we are a magician. So let's go to the Kalmas guy. Hold it, what are you doing? I want to go in. Are you kidding? Why don't you ask Thoris? I will. If you're lying, you're as good as dead. Are you saying I can go in? Yeah, get moving. And look, our old friend that many of us know. Who are you? I'm Raven, Gomez's right-hand man. Anyone who wants to see Gomez has to talk to me first. How's the ore trade going? The old mine's doing well. The last load of supplies from the outside world was massive. 
I want to see Gomez. Thoris says I'm to be taken on as a shadow. We're always on the lookout for good men. You seem to have your wits about you. You might be okay. I'll take you to Gomez. Follow me. And don't touch anything. Okay, thank you. Yeah, relax, dude. Lots of and lots of weapons here. Gomez is over there. If you don't show him some respect, I'll take pleasure in teaching it to you personally. If you got that. So yes, sir. Can I get this? Yeah. Why aren't they flagged? Like really? Or they think that I'm a maiden just clearing their table? Could be also that. And all of a sudden the money are totally not a problem anymore. So Arto, they have beautiful weapons. Who are you? They call me Scar. What's your job? Me and Arto make sure nobody gets to see Gomez unless they're invited. And I make sure the women don't get restless. When they threw me in here, I saw a woman being brought down with the goods. So what? Is she here? Look, in case you're interested in her, let me give you some advice. Forget her. She's only just got here, and Gomez has her locked in his room. When he's done with her, he might just send her down, but for now, she's his. So you better take your mind off her. Is there anything you can tell me about Gomez? All you need to know is that he's the most powerful man in the colony. He gets what he wants, but all he really wants is power. Okay, we all want power. Who are you? I'm Arto. Oh, he has a nice voice in comparison with Scar. Here? I'm Gomez's bodyguard. You don't talk much, do you? Nope. Well, there was a time when things were done and here we are. They say nothing now. Before they were saying something like, I'm not allowed to talk to you. Bartolo. Who are you? Bartholo's the name. I see to it that the ore barons get their supplies. I'm in charge of the lot, from weed supplies to food and provisions for the women. Also, they have a it's lot of provisions here. Make sure those idiotic cooks do their job right. They should be grateful. Gomez won't put up with any crap. He fed the last two cooks to the lurkers in the river. Yeah, do you remove all the lines? Can we take this or it's just... Hands off! Nobody beats up anybody else here Ugh. except... Don't try that again! Noted. So here they are flagged. Omid. Yeah, they remove all the... But those I can take, yeah, no problem. And look, the cheese and stuff that the... The Baloro needed. Yep, they remove all the lines they had. So let's see, Gomez, are you going to make us a shadow? Hey, you! Beautiful weapon. I have come to offer my services. What makes you think we're interested in your services? This could be. I have stood the test of faith, and Thoris says I'm worth it. You wouldn't have gotten in here alive if that weren't so. I hope that's not the best you can do. Oh, and original, he's sitting down on the chair, on the colony, throne, and talk to us. But here, he has a respect for us. Now that could prove useful. Who are you in contact with? So we are not allowed to lie to him. Who do we know? We know Korkalom. Yep, Kor we do. And? Laris. Laris. That's also true. And? We know Lee, Gorn, but they're not here. A couple of the fences in the new camp. And? A few of the balls. A few of the balls in the Brotherhood's camp. And? That's it, Iberian, we don't know. Those were the important ones. Not bad for a beginner. 
You shall have your chance. Does that mean I'm in? You bet it does. You're one of us now, kid. Raven will fill you in on everything. That's it? Hey, you! Yep. Raven, what do you have to fill me in? Gomez says I'm in. Great. In that case, you can prove your worth with the first task. It shouldn't be too difficult for you, provided your connections are as good as you say. What do you want me to do? We do a lot of trade with the Brotherhood. That doesn't mean to say we trust them. Go to the swamp. When you get to the camp, keep your ears open. Anything you pick up might be useful for us. The more you find out, the better. It'll take a bit of tact, if you know what I mean. Keep cool. I'm not going to get them angry. I knew you'd understand. Where can I get better equipment? Go and see Diego. He'll give you some armor. It'll stop you from getting killed, and it'll serve as an ID at the same time. Your armor should give you access to all the places you need to go. If you need any weapons, go and talk to Skip. You'll find him in the big shed right at the back, left of the castle courtyard. I just thought I'd report in. Good. I like being kept up to date. I don't really know what... Then why... Okay, we got a dress. Double the protection. Nice. So we are in. We cannot tell them anything, right? No. Nope. Scar. No, okay. So, Diego has a better armor for us, apparently. Let's check it. We can buy it. But this armor really fits us. Skip has weapon we don't need because they had a very powerful one in the chest. Which we were allowed to take. Taurus, do you say anything that we joined? I've done it. At last I belong to the camp. Congratulations, kid. You'd better we have stay the short... close to Diego from now on. Only go to Gomez or Raven if you have something really important to say. How are you doing? How's the display going? What the hell? Trouble from the new camp. I'm more worried about those sec loonies. Diego, my friend, thank you very much. I want your armor. How much does it cost? Yeah, it's better, but. Can I have armor like yours? Do you have enough ore? Take care. Oh, we got it. That was a dress. And this is the armor. Yeah, this one looks much better. A lot much better than the shadow dress. And that's thanks to the money that we have. So, Diego doesn't have anything to tell us. Really? Like, not even congratulations? Welcome to the shadows? Nothing. Okay. Our mission is simple now. We didn't fail any of them. Go to the Brotherhood. I guess that's what we are going to do. We are going to go to the other door, other gate, and then we will have to reach the old camp. Not the old camp, again, I'm keeping mixing them up. The sect camp and spy on them, apparently, even though they are going to make us their tool. You told me Thank you. You gave us a lot of money. I mean, food. So now we are very powerful. We hit a lot. I mean, not a lot. We, we hit hard. And we can take a lot of damage. The thing is... We are not very good at uh, two-handed. So we are going to see how we are going to fight. If we we are too clumsy with two-handed, then we have to switch back to one-handed and deal with it. It's getting dark. Or raining. It's starting to rain. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to rain. So the cap the chapter didn't advance, that means there are no new enemies. But as soon as the chapter advances to the second chapter, then some enemies are going to be placed in, play uh, in the world. 
those enemies are new enemies they will add up to the other enemies that already exist if we clear some or all of them for example they would still add the fixed number of the enemies that they were already planned to spawn anyway not spawn but add to the world because in the gothic one and two there are no spawn re uh, spawn respawn of enemies they have special ids each of the enemy for example i cannot kill one enemy resurrect it and kill it again and i would get experience nope it's not working like that we are already holding the weapon quite good let's see can we deal any damage okay it's a one hit and the range is very strong or very big not strong oh a pipe can we use it no so yeah you see that, that that's way too easy somehow if you know what you're doing or if you know what you're supposed to do because there are still st stuff that I don't know about the game like this game has a lot of hidden stuff that you can learn every now and then like a special dialogue like a special quest done in a different way but yeah we are about to reach the sect camp the sect loonies yeah we need some light so we can see what we are doing is that something here oh copper beach seed that was literally something there yeah and the mi missions from now on are going to be very straightforward but it's going to be fun don't get me wrong it's going to be a lot of fun because we we unwrap the the quest now the story of the graphic and we are going to see what really happened with the barrier what we can do to escape and what the enemies not the enemies or allies needs us to do it's going to be really really fun so we are at the sect camp we are going to make a cut here and we are going to oh i'm glad you're here i have news for you good news i hope our brotherhood's planning a really big thing what are you planning to break out the gurus are trying to contact the sleeper but they need something to unite their powers oh and they need a magical object a focus what's that got to do with me talk to Eberian. he's the most powerful man around here this is the opportunity to attain his favor where do i find him go to the temple he rarely leaves it probably he feels closer to the sleeper in those cold ruins and that's what started the second chapter Let's talk about that something else, so we are going to make a cut here and we are going to see what the Brotherhood wants with us. We are going to enjoy this beautiful... Okay. We are not cooking anything or what? We are going to enjoy this barrier. Yeah, it looks different there than here. It looks a bit weird. Did we cook everything? Oh yeah, we cooked everything. So, thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye-bye. Uh,